Listening to your presentation, I was thinking, you touched upon the elements that have combined to enable your success. But what were the X factors, let's say the variables, the elements of chance? Um, I, I would say that globalization is, is one very important trend that has really helped us to play a role in, uh, beyond our country, beyond our limited market space. Um, and with that, you know, once we decided to go out and reach out to the world to persuade them to come to Singapore, uh, that, that, that was a huge game. I mean, with a lot of effort, but also with uh, chance. Let's once again consider Singapore's journey to success. Um, in my opinion, we often learn more from our mistakes than our successes. Um, what was Singapore's number one mistake along the way? And what did it learn from that experience? Mm. Well, um, I would say that we, we've had many lessons. I mean, um, so some a bit smaller and some a bit larger. But I, I would say that the greatest challenge has always been to look at the assumptions that we have made, uh, acknowledge that some of them are no longer valid, uh, and some are perhaps even wrong, and have the courage to accept that perhaps there was a wrong judgment, make the adjustments and then move on with it. And, and that has been um, the situation in many of the different policies, especially around social systems in Singapore. You were a minister today, you're a businesswoman. And I was just thinking, um, if you should give one single most important lesson or advice to small, medium-sized companies, um, and learn from the Singapore, let's say, success story. What would your advice be to our audience? Um, I would say to stay true to your vision, um, to work hard at it without cutting corners. I mean, this sounds a little illogical in, in certain places, but I believe that if you persist with integrity, diligence, and a laser sharp focus on uh, what truly matters, uh, you, you will get there. And finally, we know that Singapore made it big. Can it make it even bigger, or has it reached its limit? Um, we don't think we can stay stagnant, so we will not allow ourselves to sort of hang around and, and see if you know uh, our market share. Uh, has dropped in certain areas or whether our transportation hub status is being eroded, we will always proactively act to make sure that it won't happen.